Stargate Voyager. But a massive ancient lost city uh, has been discovered in the Amazon. So I'm really excited to dive into this uh, today with you. So the dense and deep Ecuadorian rainforest has been concealing a secret lying under the shadows of the volcanoes above an ancient, amazing network of cities located in what's known as the Upano Valley, I believe. Now using laser sensors uh, via airplane, as well as ground excavations that came along a little bit later, archeologists and scientists have unearthed uh, the Amazon's earliest and biggest example yet of city-like settlements. And if you're watching on YouTube or Spotify, you are going to see several photos come, come across the screen. So this LIDAR technology that these scientists and archaeologists used found some 6,000 rectangular platforms uh, measuring anywhere from about 60, uh, 66 feet by 33 feet and 2 to 3 meters high. I mean, there's so many of them, hundreds of them, thousands of them. And they were arranged in groups of three to six units around a plaza with a central platform. And it reveals a large, complex uh, society that appears to be even bigger than the well-known Mayan societies in Mexico and Central America. So a very exciting find in the archaeological and the historical world. It is believed that the city was built around 2,500 years ago, and its inhabitants lived there for up to 1,000 years, according to the archaeologists. And the discovery changes what we know about the history of people living in the Amazon, as it was believed that people only lived nomadically or in tiny settlements in the Amazon. This has been the mainstream thought, and, and this is what they have taught us uh, over the years, but this is changing that. This finding settles a debate about whether the ancient Amazon was habitable and builds on evidence, including pyramids and earthworks that have been uncovered over the past 20 years. Uh, one of these archaeologists by the name of Professor Stephen Rostain, I believe, says, quote, this is older than any other site we know in the Amazon. We have a Eurocentric view of civilization, but this shows we have to change our idea about what is culture and civilization. And he is the uh, director of investigation at the National Center for Scientific Research in France. And he is the guy who led this research team. One of the other members of their team, a guy named Antoine Dorison, says, quote, it changes the way we see Amazonian cultures. Most people picture small groups probably naked, living in huts and clearing land. But this shows ancient people lived in complicated urban cities, end quote. Now, it's difficult to accurately estimate how many people in total live there at any one time, but the archaeologists and the scientists believe it's a certainty that it was at least in the tens of thousands, if not one hundreds of thousands of people. That is crazy. And a network of straight roads and paths connected many of these platforms that you can see in the LiDAR images, including one that extended for 16 miles. And this Dr. Dorison said that these roads were the most strike, uh, striking part of the research they conducted. Uh, quote, he said, the road and network is very sophisticated. It extends over a vast distance. Everything was connected and there are right angles, which is very impressive. Uh, end quote, he says. And he goes on to explain how it's much harder to build a straight road than one that fits in with the landscape. The excavation teams say that they also found signs of threats to the cities. Uh, some ditches blocked entrances to the settlements, and they feel that this may be evidence of threats from nearby uh, peoples or cultures. Um, another archaeologist, Jose Iratare, says, quote, imagine that you discovered another civilization like the Maya but with completely different architecture, land use, and ceramics, uh, end quote. And so obviously at 2,500 years old, whoever this culture was in the Amazon would predate uh, the Maya. 
Uh, this archaeologist also goes on to say that some of the findings are unique for South America, uh, pointing to these octagonal and rectangular platforms that are arranged uh, together. So the societies were clearly well organized and interconnected. And this is highlighted again by these long sunken roads uh, between settlements. And again, you got to see these LIDAR images. If you're not watching on YouTube or Spotify, if you're just listening to the audio of this, you can go uh, click the link in the show notes to uh, see the article version I made of this, which has these photos, or you can go to stargatevoyager.com. And uh, this is one of the most recent articles that you can find. Uh, one other quote I want to read by one of these archaeologists. His name is Christopher Fisher from Colorado State University. And he says, quote, it's a gold rush scenario, especially for the Americas and the Amazon. Uh, scientists are demonstrating conclusively that there were a lot more people in these areas and that they significantly modified the landscape, uh, end quote. And then he, he goes on to say, this is a paradigm shift in our thinking about how extensively people occupied these areas. So this is an incredible, incredible modern day discovery. And we got to get big props to uh, Graham Hancock as he really uh, called this not so long ago. Uh, I think in talking to Joe Rogan and, and probably elsewhere, he declared that he believed there would be major discoveries uh, in the Amazon due to uh, our ability to harness LIDAR technology and see through these dense jungle forests and that it would change our perception of history, um, that it would prove what he's been saying and that what he's been catching fire for from the mainstream uh, media and world for years now. Graham says stuff just keeps getting older, that history goes back much further than we've been led to believe. And again, he's been uh, just shamed for this, uh, but it's it's proving true, right? And these very archeologists who excavated uh, these amazing discoveries are saying it themselves. It's rewriting our paradigm. It's changing the way we think about not just the Amazon and these cultures that lived in the Amazon, but it's forcing them to rewrite their timelines. Incredible.